to another video. So, as you can see, we are on a new bit of kit today, older than new camera. And like I said, my last camera broke, I filmed, well, I said that in the last video, I filmed a vlog. Full day of eating, full day in the life, was really happy with the quality, everything like that, the value added into the video. And then the footage all corrupt, which is not ideal. And something to do with my memory card camera. Either way, it kind of pushed me to order a new camera, start filming better quality videos, putting out better quality content which is what I want to do because I really want to push YouTube now over the next few years and provide as much value on my channel as what I possibly can. So this is going to be a day in the life. I literally just wrapped up 40 minutes of fasted CV, which I'm doing an hour a day at the minute. I've got 20 minutes post-workout coming up as well. It's check-in day, so I've just got some check-in photos for Nath, and then I'm going to be off for my first meal now, but first we've got to pick up a few bits from the shop. Now, at this point in the dieting phase, a little update with that, I literally, I've got four days now to all fly away to my galoof, which doesn't seem like a long time, but trust me, the days are dragging at the minute. Food is quite low, cardio is quite high. Performance has been pretty lackluster recently, to say the least. I'll be honest with you boys, it's getting hard now. It's getting very, very hard. It's getting to that point where I'm just walking around doing day-to-day -day bits, being clumsy as hell, just bumping into things, dropping things. Even when I'm doing my cardio now, I'm not even joking, my legs feel like tree trunks. <laughs> they just feel so heavy at the minute, it's ridiculous. But yeah, anyway, I'm still having fun with it. Still gonna continue dieting throughout the summer try get in the best shape that you've all seen me in yet and absolutely blow up Instagram with some physique impact. So yeah, we continue to dig nonetheless. Let's fucking get it. So please do forgive me throughout this video if like lighting is a little bit off, if angles are a little bit off with the camera. I'm still trying to suss out this new setup. Videographer Ben did run me through a fair few bits in terms of like different lighting and everything like that. So where I set the camera up there, for my check-in shots, it was like seriously, seriously bright. So I tried to like tone down the, the brightness a little bit, which is like pretty advanced for me when it comes to cameras to say the least. I didn't really know what I was doing, but I kind of just turned down that brightness until it just looked as I would see it, if that makes sense. Because yeah, this posing room is oh, it's, it's good, don't get me wrong, but it would be so much better. As you can see, through here, you obviously got an open window. So when it's like sunrise and the sun comes in, it just completely washes out your physique when you're trying to take your check-in photo. So what would actually be better if that had like a blind and then obviously you could get these little down lighting lights onto the, the blackboard there, stand there and take your check-in shots because that would be a hell of a lot more accurate or at least you'd get better quality check-in shots that way as well. But yeah, either way, I'm gonna put my top back on now head to the shops, get a few bits for meal one, and then we will be off to the parents' house because I head to my parents for meal one. <laughs> I'm not gonna tell you why, I'm not gonna tell you why because I'm not gonna expose myself like that, but there's basically this show that I record there that's on every Monday, every Friday, every Tuesday as well. And I can't record anything on my TV at home because our BT package doesn't allow us to record anything, which is a little bit weird. So I go to theirs every single Tuesday, Wednesday, Saturday morning to watch a show that was recorded the night before, eat my first meal there, and now I literally just head off home and work. Which is quite nice because I get to see Oaks, I get to see the family, um, and despite moving out and moving into a different um, town, city, say, I still get to see him quite regularly throughout the week. So yeah, I'm gonna head off there now, meal one, let's get it. Okay, so just a quick one as well. I just want to say a massive, massive thank you to all the kind comments and feedback I got on my last video. It seems that you guys, especially clients of mine, like the in-depth session breakdowns. I think in the future, I will be getting videographer Ben on board a lot more for YouTube and basically just create that kind of style video just because it's so much easier to do with a videographer on hand. Obviously, with filming myself in like a vlogging style video, it's going to be a hell of a lot harder. So yeah, for any kind of videos that you want to see on this channel any kind of like session breakdowns or even if like it's like form breakdown videos on certain exercises or anything like that please do just let me know comment below and I'll be sure to get around to that obviously love hearing everyone's feedback in terms of what they want to see on the YouTube I've already had a few requests which I've got lined up so yeah 
just want to say a massive thank you for that. Obviously, the last video didn't get the engagement of some of the others, but then the people that did watch it did give really, really good feedback on it, and I really massively appreciate that. Thank you. Yes, lads, so we are done with meal one. I can honestly say that is my favorite meal of the day. Two turkey rashers, two whole eggs, six egg whites, and 100 grams of veg. Sounds so, so basic. But honestly, it just slaps every single morning. I genuinely go to bed dreaming of being able to wake up and have that meal every single morning. It's, it's trust me, it's the little things when you're on a dieting phase that really do make your day. But that meal one, ugh, it slaps every single morning. So yeah, we are now off home. I've got to pick a few things up in town first just for the holiday. Just basic things like sun cream, deodorant, shower gel, etc. Just getting the last few bits sorted. Because like I said, it's like four, four or five days now until I fly out. I fly out Sunday, it's now Wednesday, so technically, yeah, four, four days as um, I fly out pretty early that Sunday morning. But yeah, anyway, going to head into town now, pick up a few bits, and then I'll be going home and cracking straight on with check-ins. Now, usually I leave my check-ins to a little, little later on in the day now, just because it's just so hot throughout the day now in the UK that I just I end up just completely monging out in front of my laptop screen and productivity is just not there. So I try and train midday now and leave majority of my work till later on in the day when it's a little bit cooler and I can kind of just be a little bit more productive but I've got quite a busy evening we've actually got our community call this Wednesday evening and we've got a special guest on today which I'll explain and look that and, and, and let you know who that is at, um, a little later on in this video gonna go home get some check-ins done probably train legs around like 2 30 ish come home post workout and then yeah I'll just be cracking on with work for the rest of the evening and then once I get my check-in reply from Nath I'll kind of keep you guys in the loop with, with what's happening from here moving forward. But yeah, there was no drop on the scale weights this morning, so I doubt that we're really going to kind of make any changes or fill me up with any high days or anything like that. I'm feeling a little bit flat, but like I, I can continue pushing on from here without a doubt. I know I can, so I should be absolutely fine. But anyway, that is everything. Yeah, let's get it. Okay lads, and we also ended up picking up a bulk parcel, well had a bulk parcel delivered. So this isn't a full kind of supplement order by the way, I literally just needed to pick up a few bits because I still got like all my multivitamins, vitamin C, vitamin D3, Amiga fish oils and everything like that. I still actually got a lot of that stuff just in my cupboard, so I literally just picked up a few bits that I needed. So we ended up getting some ashwagandha, we ended up getting some krill oil. Now I just, I, I always make sure that I, I stay on top of things like krill oil supplementation, omega fish oil supplementation, just for heart health, obviously since my cardiac event back in 2021. Yes, I'm still on all my heart medication and everything like that, but it's, you know, especially for longevity in this sport as well, I don't wanna be on my last legs by the time I reach like 45, 50. So I just make sure that I kind of like stay on top of heart health and ensure that I'm doing everything I can to just ensure that that that's healthy, even, you know, supplementing things such as uh, cyclic garlic and, and, and stuff like that. It's just, yeah, just trying to do everything I can to make sure that, that my heart stays healthy and that the ticker keeps going. We also got digestive enzymes. Now I haven't actually used digestive enzymes this whole dieting phase, reason being because digestion has been absolutely fine. But recently it has been getting to that point in the dieting phase where bowel movements have become a lot less regular. So yeah, got some digestive enzymes, they should help. And then, oh, literally been waiting for them to restock this. We ended up getting some bulk vegan whey chocolate peanut flavor. Now I did actually film a vlog, the vlog that I mentioned I filmed and then the footage all corrupt, which kind of led me to buying this camera. I did do another bulk order in that. And I basically complained that like they didn't have any chock peanut vegan whey in, uh, in, in, in stock. And that is literally the only vegan whey flavor that I actually like. It slaps every single time. I had, I've, I've been having to use chocolate mint recently, which don't get me wrong, it does the job, but it's just not as good. I love peanut butter and I love chocolate. And this whey here is honestly top tier whey. I also did get some flavor drops as well, um, which I was just using like my cream of rice and oats, but I think I've already put that away in the cupboard. But yeah, anyway, I'm gonna crack on with some check-ins now. And I think beforehand I need a shower as well, because I still haven't had a shower today. So yeah, I'm gonna hop in the shower and then crack on with some check-ins. 
So YouTube, we are off to the gym now. So in between when I last filmed the now, came home, actually had a meeting with my accountant that I completely forgot about. But yeah, had a very good meeting with him. Got through majority of my check-ins, had a few catch-up calls with clients, just mapping out and planning the next phases with them. And yeah, then we, well, yeah, we got showered before all of that. And now we are off to the gym, which I can't lie, I was tempted to head off to Pure Gym and train there just because in this heat, around 26 degrees, I think it is now, they have a very, very nice aircon in that gym, but that is not the kind of quality YouTube video I wanna be giving out. I do not wanna be training out of shitty fucking Pure Gyms. I wanna be training in proper gyms with proper kit. So yeah, we are gonna train in the sauna, which is LRF Herm Bay which I'm not looking forward to, to say the least, especially my 20 minutes cardio. It's hard enough as it is post legs, but especially where their cardio section is like upstairs in the gym and like all the heat kind of travels up. It's just so like humid on, on, on that cardio floor. I'm just not gonna enjoy that in the slightest. But anyway, we got, yeah, I think, where were we missing? Yeah, I've got to get my pre-workout drink. So recently I found an absolute gem of a zero sugar caffeinated beverage. Now, this is a relentless sugar-free raspberry. I've heard there's other flavors as well that are really, really good, but the co-op down the road literally only does raspberry, but that's fine with me because it absolutely bangs. And bearing in mind, we're in like a financial crisis at the minute, monsters and rains are costing an arm and a leg. I'm pretty sure monsters are like 170 now in most supermarkets. I remember the days where you used to be able to get them for a quid on offer. Those days are behind us, unfortunately. But these, one pound in co-op, you cannot go wrong. And obviously, as this best kept secret, you could get these in a pack of four for like 380, I think, which is less than a quid for one of these and honestly in comparison to monster and rain yes all right it's not as good but it does the job it does the job it's definitely a work in progress the problem is though is that soon relentless are gonna figure out that they've done these right and the price will go up so stock up on them while you can and enjoy them while they're still a quid but yeah anyway i'm gonna sip on one of these on the way to the gym we are in for legs with the addition of 20 minutes post-workout cardio and then we'll come back here for the post-workout meal and then finish off the rest of the day. Let's get it.
So the legs is done. We are now gonna finish off the session with 20 minutes cardio. That wasn't all the exercises that I do, by the way. Obviously, I do more exercises. I just managed to get three on film. So we also done some seated hamstring curl. We also done some adductor. And we done some calf raises at the end as well, which calves is pretty optional for me. Whether I do it or not is completely dependent on my mood and my energy towards the end of the session. But um, I mean, I've got pretty big calves as it is to be fair. I've got pretty big legs as it is. I always, well, I say always, as of this year, bearing in mind I've been dieting for the majority of it, I literally just work at minimal effective volume training legs and my legs still look fucking big just because, well, genetics really. So yeah, I don't have to, I have to absolutely run myself into the ground with legs every single week. I literally just, like I said, train at minimal effective volume and that's enough to solidify the mass that I've got on, on my legs. There's no point in me burying myself because at the end of the day, I might as well just put that energy elsewhere throughout the week in areas that I actually do need to bring up, like my chest or my back, for example. So yeah, that was the leg session. Now we got cardio. Quick tip for anyone that has an hour of cardio a day, absolutely drags and they want it to go a little bit quicker. Grab some blue towel. Pop it over the timer and then literally just peep when you think you're close to finishing your cardio. It's getting to that point with me recently though where I'm taking little peeps and my 40 minutes fasted first thing in the morning thinking that I'm almost done and it turns out I'm only like 3 minutes 20 seconds in. But either way, it helps, psychologically anyway. Okay, YouTube, we are back from the gym. Went into Lidl to pick up a few bits um, for later on for, for my last few meals of the day, which is absolute torture because as soon as you walk into the Lidl near me, the bakery is like instantly in your face. Uh, so it's like a, a daily reminder of foods that like I can't have because I just shop as I go. I don't do like a weekly shop or anything like that. I just pick up food as and when I need it, which there's a Lidl right by my gym. And that's the little that I go to to get like my spinach, my veg, my meats and everything like that, etc. But yeah, we're here with a post-workout meal now, which is 70 grams of cream of rice and 40 grams of whey. Now, with this cream of rice, this isn't how I normally make it. It's a little bit more watery than what I would normally have. But that's just because I get a little bit more volume out of it. Now, a lot of people will probably completely disagree with that, the cream of rice connoisseurs, but Right now, like I don't care about overall taste, I just care about consistency, uh, not consistency, volume. I care about volume. <laughs> See, look, my brain isn't even working, prep brain. No, I'm joking. But you can afford to get away with it being slightly more watery with vegan whey, because with vegan whey, you basically, it, it absorbs the water a little bit better than what like a normal whey isolate would. It mixes better into your cream of rice. So you can afford your cream of rice being a little bit watery because with adding in vegan whey, you do just get that nice consistency. I honestly get so impatient just like making cream of rice now, like the amount of time it takes in the microwave, taking time stirring in the protein so you don't get any lumps. Like I'm just so fucking hungry, I just want to eat right now. <laughs> and then once that is all mixed in, as you can see, you then get a nice consistency. And when you leave it a little bit just to cool off as well, so obviously you don't want to eat it baking hot, consistency does get a little bit thicker as well. But I also add some liquid flavor drops just to basically give it that little burst of flavor. This is the chocolate flavor from Bulk Powders. Now, yes, using like zero calorie sweeteners like this can affect your digestion ever so slightly if you use too much. If you use it within reason, it probably won't. And the good thing about these is that they're fucking strong, so you don't need to use an awful lot. I literally add around like five to seven drops, and that's literally all I add, that's all you need. If you added any more than that, then you'll just get like this overpowering kind of sweet and taste to your core, and it's just really not nice. So yeah, can they affect your digestion? Yes, if you use too much, so use sparingly. But the good thing is, is that the flavor drops are so fucking strong, you don't need to use a lot anyway. And if you do use too much, it will just ruin the fucking taste of your core or your total Greek yogurt or your oats or whatever you add it to. So yeah, 
bear that in mind. Anyway, I'm gonna take this upstairs now, eat this at my desk, uh, cause I eat at my desk, I'm a little bit weird, and then crack on with the rest of my check-ins. So YouTube, that wraps up the video. Gonna call it a day there. And actually probably get round to editing this this evening so i'm really eager to get this out now and really make a push with youtube we've got two meals left today um we've got 170 grams of chicken and veg and then 170 grams of lean beef mince and veg i know fucking exciting right but we're gonna eat one of them now um and then i did say i was gonna take you on to one of our community calls later where we had a special guest but that's had to be cancelled because the special guest couldn't make it. He's a very busy man, hard to track down. So I won't tell you who it is because I may, t may take you through it at a later date. But yeah, he was like flying back to the UK from Dubai, so he couldn't make it. So yeah, that's no longer happening. So I think I'm just gonna finish off the rest of my check-ins after this. It's around 6 p.m. in the evening, have my second to last meal, and then I'll get around to editing this. Um, because I'm not sure what it is today, but whether it's the new setup, whether I've just had a really good productive day, but I've fucking enjoyed filming today. I really, really have. And I'm really wanting to push YouTube from here on out, start bringing weekly uploads. And then eventually, once I get into a solid routine of uh, doing that, do two uploads a week and really, really try and make a big push with YouTube. Views have been good recently. Engagement's been really, really good. Subscribers have been going up. So thank you all for that and thank you for, th uh, for the support. Gonna end it there. Like, share, subscribe, all that YouTube stuff and I will see you in the next one.